On August 12th, Battlefield 2042 Exodus, the short film will premiere. If you'd like to catch the details on that and more things around the world on Battlefield, I've got a link in the description and an annotation on screen. In those days leading up to Exodus, we are going to be taking a journey looking through the eyes of the embedded journalist Kayvon Bashir. This is part one, Escape from Dua. The date is September 12th, 2041 in Dua, Qatar. It all began a year ago, surfing a dark net browser in my hometown of Dua back when it was still inhabited by people. As a journalist, I'd become keenly interested in the issue of armed no-pats, trying to find a contact within the ranks of these stateless soldiers. Finally, at 3.28 AM, an anonymous source DM'd me, claiming to be the most wanted man alive, the commander of the largest contingents of no-pat forces, known to the world simply as OZ. I'd gotten such messages before, but it was never the real OZ. Some came from government agents waging anti no pats campaigns, and one guy had even accused me of being OZ, hiding in plain sight. But this was different. And for no other reason than the chat ended with me needing to flee the country as the Qatari police broke down my door for aiding a terrorist. It would be the only time in my life I ever welcomed an approaching sandstorm. By the 2040s, sand had become to Doha what water was to Venice. After years of fighting the encroaching desert, only those who couldn't afford to leave remained under the massive LED skylight. Still relentlessly promoting luxury handbags, Qatar had thrived in the 30s thanks to skyrocketing oil prices. The country invested heavily in combating desertification, hoping to copy Egypt's success. For a time, it seemed we might tame nature. Then the oil ran out. Famines, failed responses to them, and government protests all accompanied the sand monsoons. Soon, there were military police everywhere, ready to arrest anyone that risked Qatar becoming the next non-patriated flash point. My browser had the wrong search history. The sandstorm's cover is keeping me alive. Hiding from the armored vehicles hunting me down, I begin to notice anomalies in the LED adverts. Buried within the images is the unmistakable NOPAT emblem, a flag with a slash through it. The breadcrumbs led me to the catacombs under the abandoned football stadium. A 50-ish military man in Bermuda shorts, whose relaxed demeanor is extremely off-putting, points casually with his flashlight to a tunnel entrance guarded by a mechanical sentry system. He puts out his hand. Pitor Guskovsky. He grunts, then in perfect Arabic, this was a one-time thing. As I disappeared into the dark while the wind howls overhead, I wondered if I'll ever be able to call Doha home again. Little do I know that in less than a year later, Qatar would be a failed state and the city of Doha lost to sand. Tomorrow, we will be getting part two of the story leading up to Battlefield Exodus. As we witness the locations of Battlefield 2042 through the eyes of the embedded journalist Kayvon Bashir. We're finally beginning to understand the notepads, the specialist, OZ, and how this all came to be. If you'd like to catch part two and more details on Battlefield, click subscribe and turn the bell on to be notified. And do let me know in the comments what you think of this and how this is all going to turn out.